Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today, it's part one of the mega mud truck. I've done a lot of research to make sure that I'm doing this mud truck properly. Stay back, there's alcohol. I hope that you enjoy it. As soon as I got my hands on one of the Axial SCX-10 II Blazers, I knew that this truck would be ripe for converting into a mud truck. Mud trucks are dumb. Mud trucks are super fun though. I think that's the most important thing here is that it's always about having fun. Uh, sometimes it's good to just cut loose, have a bit of fun, do something a bit stupid. And uh, that's sort of the goal of this, uh, this build series is to take something that's sort of mild and make it kind of wild and crazy. So without further ado, let's jump right in. You can take a look at some of the things I've already done for week one. Now, week one is all about mechanicals and some of the engineering that goes into making a mud truck. So we're going to spend a lot of time going over some of the details of how I've done some things on this truck so you can follow along and do it at home. It's not an expensive conversion and it's not something that needs a ton of money thrown at it. If you're looking to have some fun, it should be cheap and it should be easy. And the goal of this series is to do both of those things with this mud truck. So let's get right into it. What's the first thing to do when you're creating a mud truck? Well, obviously you've got to lift it. It's got to be lifted. It's got to be high up so it can get through that mud and not get into all the body work and have the body slowing it down through those mud holes. So what did we do? We went to RPP Hobby and picked up the STRC SEX10 lift kit. This is available for, I believe, 35 bucks, which is not too shabby. This allows you to use your existing chassis, but drop the transmission plate to the very bottom, keeping your weight low while raising your body up nice and high. Taking a look at this truck, you can see it is very high now. You're crazy, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. I like you. <laughs> it allows you to use all your existing hardware, including the shocks. Uh, it just kind of relocates things for you and uh, puts your center of gravity nice and low where you want it to be on a mud truck, yet giving you all of that body lift and uh, chassis lift that you need to create a proper, ridiculous looking mud truck. Uh, I was made aware that Josh Harley Designs did design a similar set of plates and those were available at RC Bros. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my hands on one. I don't think they're in production any longer, which is unfortunate. I do want to support Josh in any way I can. He's a very good dude. He's a good friend. Uh, anyway, they offer excellent instructions on their website, and I will link to that in the description below. Assembly is easy, provided you've had some experience with working on an axial truck before. You should be able to complete this conversion in about 20 minutes max. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, hey, wait a second. Now that you've raised the chassis and lowered the axles and, and the transmission and everything, how are you going to steer this monster? Well, that's an excellent question and one that I'm going to answer for you right now. Because you're raising so much up, the axial CMS isn't going to work any longer. So I decided to move that servo onto the axle. And you're saying, well, wait a second, that was never something that was intended with the SCX-10 II. Well, you're, you're right again. You're batting a thousand for being correct today. Congratulations. So with that in mind, UC Fab created a servo on axle mount, and that thing works great. Relocates the servo exactly where you want it, down low on the axle, makes it very easy to do this conversion and not have to worry a lot about keeping that CMS intact. But there's a problem, and this is one of the small hurdles that is required on an SCX-10 II platform. If you're working with one of the newer RTRs, like I am here, the SCX-10 II Blazer, the new axles are a one piece and they include a truss. And while that's great for strength, it's really not great for trying to mount this UC Fab servo on axle mount. There's no easy way to do it without compromising the integrity of that one piece axle housing. So what did I do? I went to the parts bin. Like any good builder, I had an extra set of original style SCX-10 II axles in my parts bin. 
These are available as a separate item and I will put a link in the description below where you can pick up a set for yourself. This allowed me to properly mount the UC Fab Servo on axle mount and get my steering in order. I'm for the time being keeping all of the stock electronics. There will be an upgrade in upcoming weeks. Mechanically, to complete the look, I knew I had to have larger tires. Proline was happy to supply me with a set of their TSL Bogger Super Swampers. These are the 1.9 size, and well, you could go 2.2, I wanted to kind of keep this somewhere in the frame of reality. Uh, when you look at a mud truck, they don't always have massive monster truck style tires. They usually have something that's a little bit smaller, a little more on budget, perhaps. Proline also supplied me with a set of 1.9 forge wheels to wrap around these super swampers. Incidentally, if you are looking to pick up some things from Proline, you can use the Scale Builders Guild discount code that will get you 10% off. That code is SBG10 and is eligible for all products sold at ProLineRacing.com. So of course, that's not the end of this project. There is a lot more to come. There are some cosmetic upgrades I'll be making to the body. I'm gonna be adding a nice light kit in an upcoming episode. And we're going to actually increase the power output of this truck to make it a true mega mud truck. I encourage you to follow along and try building your own mud truck. It's super fun and super ridiculous. Definitely post links below. I'd love to see your mud trucks in action. If you've got any suggestions for this build, by all means, throw a comment down below. As you know, I answer every single comment, no matter how long it takes me, I get to all of them. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to sharing the rest of this project with you and getting it muddy.